Hey girlfriends, welcome back to the channel for another video this week. If you're new here, my name is Jeronica Mycia, but all my friends call me G. And if you're a turning subscriber, thanks for coming back this week and clicking on my face. And if you haven't already, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up, like, share, comment, subscribe. Do not forget to follow me over on Instagram for all of the fabulous updates and come back each week for weekly uploads. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing luxury items I would pay full price for. Now, I did a full video on luxury items I wouldn't pay full price for, and I thought this video would be helpful because so many of you were telling me that that video was helpful. Now, lately, I have been getting so many questions on, would I, gee, should I pay full price for this? Should I pay retail price for this? Or should I get it pre-loved? Should I wait till it go on sale? So I was like, you know what? Let's just make a full video on it so we can answer all of the questions for the girls, okay? So if this is a video that you feel like you'll be interested in seeing, girl, just keep watching. So before I share the items that I'll pay full price for, I'm gonna share just a few tips that I kinda like consider before I pay full price or retail price for an item. This is kinda like my thought process when I'm shopping. This is, this will help me be like, okay, do I wanna get it at retail? Retail or don't want to just wait till it go on sale or pre-love dot 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 dot. So the first thought that go through my head, I kind of question, is it a hot item and will this item most likely sell out? If it's a hot item and I know for a fact that, okay, this is just going to fly off the shelf, I'm going to have a hard time finding it, finding my size, or it's just going to give me like a hassle to go through a personal seller, a personal um, shopper. I don't want to go through those type of things. So if I'm in a store or I'm on a website and I see an item, item in my size and I can just purchase it right there and I know this is going to be like a very trendy or hot item that you know the girls are going to just jump on and I'm not going to be able to find it that's when I'll just go ahead and say you know what I'd rather pay full price for the item than miss out and try to like wait for it to go on sale so that's the first thought that goes through my mind when even considering buying something um at retail price the next thing I ask myself do I need this right now is this something that I need for a special event a special occasion birthday blah blah blah, blah. now if it's something that I really need right now for like if I'm going on a trip and I want to wear it if I'm going to an event or something I'll go ahead and pay full price for it. I wouldn't even try to like find it on a discount or something. Well, I would always look for a coupon, a coupon or something, but I'm not gonna try to like wait and say, okay, let's see if it goes on sale next week. No, if I need it for um, a specific date or anything that's coming up pretty soon, I'm gonna just go ahead and get it because I just rather not stress myself out and beat myself up because I'm a true believer that things that hunt us the most is the things that we didn't buy, okay? I can't speak for you, but I'm gonna speak for me. And there's so many things that I didn't buy. To this day, I just kick myself. So that's another thought that goes through my head when I'm considering paying full price. Now this next thing is probably the number one thing that happens to me the most. If I'm somewhere shopping and I see something that's vintage or rare and I know I cannot um, find it, I'm going to go ahead and jump on it. Most likely, especially the vintage pieces that I can't find in the store. Now, maybe it's um, a consignment shop or a vintage shop, but those pieces that you know you cannot find in like the Saks and the Neemans and you can't just go in and buy them, I'm going to go ahead and pay for it. Now, the retail price uh maybe a premium because these vin these items are vintage and rare but i'm at the point now where like i said i have this wish list it is a vintage i call it my archives wish list it's all of these gorgeous things that's from like saint laurent archive gucci tom ford when i come across them i'm to the point where i don't try to wait for them to go on sale because I have been looking for some of these pieces y'all for years and it's to the point where you if you don't pay that price now I'm not saying whatever price just buy it. if it's in your budget sometimes you'll pay a premium go ahead and get it but for me when I see something I'm like let me just go ahead and get it because there's some items I have passed up on and to this day I have not come across them so if it's a vintage rare find and it's in a, a price range that I'm just like okay I don't, I don't want to pay this, but it's not too crazy. I'll just go ahead and get it because I know, child, nowadays, 
I get so tired of looking for things. And with me, most of the things that I like, it's vintage, rare, archive pieces. So it's not like the pieces I can just, like I said, go into the store and buy. So anytime I come across a piece that's vintage, a rare, and it's on my archives wish list, I just go ahead and buy it. I usually reach out to the seller to see if they would um, accept an offer. Most times they do accept the offer because these pieces are like, a lot of people I feel like don't look for those pieces. Why well, am not gonna say a lot, well yeah, most people don't look for um the archive pieces there's like a select group of, group of people that's really into those pieces so sometimes the seller will probably be, probably be tired of holding it so they'll usually accept my offer but for the most part if they don't accept my offer i still just go ahead and get it because girl like i said i'd be tired of looking so and actually I just purchased a few things off of my archive wish list. I was just so happy. I found all three items in one day. Y'all, the fashion guys were on my side. But those are a few things that kind of go through my mind before I end up paying full price. So hopefully those little tips or thoughts help you out. So the first thing I have up on my list that I'll pay full price for right now, I'm gonna say right now, because a lot of these things, they're subject, subject to change, girl. But right now, I would literally pay full price for anything Fendi. Fendi, the past couple seasons, has just really stepped it up. I feel like right now, Fendi is like taking like the Bottega um, spot. Y'all know Bottega had like a run girl. They had the girls, everybody, just in a whole choco, okay? Was not letting up. And now, Fendi has stepped up, but what I like about Fendi, they just was like, they, they didn't say much. They just kinda like, bam, we're here, what's up? Fendi is really doing fun fashion. I am loving seeing the colors, the sequins, the drama. It's just giving you real fun. Like, you know what? Let's step out the box and just give the girls fun fashions. I'm loving it. It's just giving you drama, textures, sequins, patterns. Oh my God, they're doing such a good job right now. And I feel like every time they have a lot of trendy pieces, but what I'm really loving we can have so many people with the same um, item, but so a lot of the girls are wearing the um, items in so many different ways, and I'm just enjoying. Y'all, I'm getting excited talking about. Anytime I talk about fashion, y'all, I just get so excited. Okay, so I'm trying to like calm down, but y'all don't understand. I get so excited, but I I'm really enjoying seeing everybody's take on the the Fendi wave right now. Everybody's wearing the pieces in their own unique way and I'm really really loving it. Especially Karen Britchick. I love the way she dressed her um is it like the sequin baguette bag? Oh my god. She dresses that bag up down it's not just like a, oh my God, this is a sequin bag. I can only wear this on special occasions. She's showing you like, no girl, you can wear this literally up the street to go to the local bodega and get your bacon, egg and cheese sandwich. I'm just loving Fendi. So right now, I would literally pay full price for anything from Fendi. And another thing, the pieces that they're releasing, I feel like they're timeless pieces that you'll have in your collection for years and years to come. It's pieces that would definitely age very, very well in your wardrobe. So even if you decide to, oh, I'm gonna just speak for me. Even if I decide to pay full price for anything over at Fendi, Fendi I don't think I'll regret it even down to the ready to wear the fashion jewelry the bags the shoes i think they're doing a very good job right now so fendi was just definitely number one on my list because they really got my eye next on this list i don't think it's no surprise and that's going to be sunglasses sunglasses is something that i i feel like i don't mind paying full price for it a retail price because one i always get my money's worth two I don't like looking for a pair of sunglasses that I'm obsessed with and I had the um, opportunity to buy it but I wanted to wait till it go on sale. I don't like that. Like I am so happy when I saw the Dior Soul Light glasses, I did not wait. I just jumped on them and I got both pair. Now those glasses girl, that was like a hot thing and I feel like if I didn't get those glasses, I would have kicked myself. I actually just purchased a pair of sunglasses, a brand new pair of sunglasses and Although I didn't pay full price for them because I found them on my, my Teresa for um, on a discounted price. If my Teresa did not have the discounted price, I would have 
willingly pay full price for these glasses because sunglasses is something that I always get my cost per wear from. If you feel like you won't get your cost per wear from an item, I would never suggest paying full price for it. Definitely get it pre-loved or wait till it go on a discount. Now with sunglasses, like I said, I always get my cost per wear probably within the first month of having them because I literally wear them out. So sunglasses, I will always be willing to pay full price. Now next up on my list, I have turbans. I'm really into like head pieces right now, different hats, scarves, but turbans right now, I love them. You guys know I have that sequin turban that you guys always ask about. That one is from ASOS. It's completely sold out and that turban made me want to just hop in the game and purchase a turban from um mary jane cleverall now this brand has been on my radar my wish list since like 2016 when i worked at sex but at the time i just couldn't bring myself to pay like three to five hundred dollars for a turban i'm just like that is crazy but the fact that i'm really into like head pieces different turbans like the one that i have on today this one right here is just like this black turban from zara and i just added my gucci brooch to it these things are gorgeous they're staple pieces and statement pieces these are pieces i feel like i would never um regret paying for because one the quality is amazing too i'm going to get my cost per wear because i can wear these things so many ways and also my rosalind baginski hat girl they need a break because i'm just wearing them out okay so i was like let me get me a few turbans well we're gonna have to take our time a, a few okay right now we got one <laughs> because they are pretty pricey but this is something that i personally will pay full price for because every time i come across these turbans the ones that i really want they always sell out they have so many different styles and most of these i would say they're beaded or they have sequins I'm obsessed with that because it's just fun fashion and very dramatic I like anything drama I always say I like my drama not in my personal life but in my wardrobe and these turbans I feel like they're fun they're good and I'm gonna get my money's my cost per wear and money's worth all of the things the next item on my list is definitely a contradiction to everything that I've ever said on my channel so at this point just slap me okay I always tell y'all do not pay full price for luxury t-shirts whatever I want this Prada bodysuit I just have it in my mind I feel like oh my god this will be perfect for spring summer and I think this will be so good with my Prada nylon shorts just hear me out I feel like I would really wear this so much and get my cost per wear because one is black two I love how the little Prada logo is very small and dainty it kind of gives you like if I don't want to wear um too much jewelry or necklace a necklace around my neck I can just the Prada logo right here would just do the job and I just keep seeing myself summertime bronze with this bodysuit on and my Prada shorts now if we being honest this may be something I may get and be like, girl, what were you thinking? Return it right now. Because I believe right now on Farfetch it is $7.90. Whatever. This is something that I'm willing to pay full price for because I have a few summer trips and I want it. I don't really know how to, I don't really have anything else to justify it. Next on my list, I have the brand IJ. When it comes to this brand, I feel like I am willing to pay full price for anything they put out. I am obsessed with this brand. This is probably my favorite favorite contemporary well no it's not probably this is my favorite contemporary brand this brand can do no wrong and right now most of i'm gonna say 80 percent of my summer spring summer pieces that i've added to my wardrobe is from aj i'm obsessed i'm literally obsessed i love the quality i love how they do very volume drama y'all know i like the drama in my wardrobe drama and um it's just so good okay it's just so good i literally wore one of my dresses this weekend to a festival and i kept getting stopped everyone was asking about this dress i'm really obsessed with this brand and i look forward to adding more pieces now the only reason i'm willing to pay full price for these items one i want them now i don't really want to wait for it to go on discount and i also know if i get these items I know the quality is going to be there be there these are pieces that i can have in my wardrobe for years and years and seasons to come it's not gonna over time start looking dingy the quality y'all i just cannot like i i'm literally obsessed like i i don't really know what else to say 
it's just so good that every time I get a new piece, I'm literally online. Like, what else did y'all put out? Right now, IJ, they just have my heart and I'm willing to really pay full price for anything because I just love their pieces. Next on my list, I have statement sandals. Now, when it comes to spring, summer, I love me a good statement sandal. And that can be from like, when I say statement sandal, it's like these fun, in your face sandals um on the screen i'm gonna try to put a few pair that i have that's just fun and crazy i feel like these always just set the tone it just like set it off and just set the tone for like my outfit usually when i'm getting dressed at this point when i know i want to wear a fun pair of sandals i kind of like base my outfit around the shoe because the shoe is just so dang on good and i don't mind paying full price for a fun sandal because it's kind of like that piece that you just need in your wardrobe it can be a basic or it can be a staple and it can just like bring a whole look together i do not mind paying full price for these um types of sandals um the hermes Aran sandal can be considered i didn't want to add that to this list because i feel like when you you guys at this point y'all know how i feel about the hermes around sandal i'm kind of like i'm like beating a dead horse of course i will pay full price for it i'm constantly paying full price for it also with the saint laurent around sandals a lot of you are asking they were never going to sell girl so if you want them you're just going to have to get them but when it comes to state statement or staple sandals i would definitely say just get you a pair and see how fun it is just it literally takes a look from oh that's cute too oh okay girl that is cute my vibe that's exactly what i'm looking for every time i put on a pair of sandals i feel like sandals should be fun vibrant and just out there i don't feel like and girl your toes are out anytime your toes are out the shoe needs to be given okay because the toes are out statement sandals just add life to your look that's what I love about them. And I don't know, I just like fun fashion. And I'm really a staple statement piece type of girl. I would say 90% of my wardrobe is statement pieces because I feel like I don't mind investing in state statement pieces because when you have a statement piece, you don't have to try too hard with a look. You don't have to be like, okay, you don't have to, I don't like to think about my outfits. I want them to just flow. And I feel like the fact that I have so many, so many state, statement pieces, all I have to do is grab one and girl, it just bring life to a whole look that I didn't really try that hard. Next up, I have Ruslan Baginski hats. Also another item I feel like at this point, you guys know how I feel about them, but it took, I cannot lie, it took me a while to say I'm gonna pay full price for these hats. One, because I've never seen one in person. Two, I didn't own one, so it's kind of like a, I'm, I can't fall in love with you through the screen. Some things you have to feel, touch, try it on and see it. I've never been into a store that sells Rosalind Baginski hats. So I just was like, okay, that price is just absurd. I'm mean, just not, it's ridiculous, no ma'am, until I purchased one. And now I'm just literally obsessed. The quality of the hats, amazing chef's kiss and this is also a staple statement piece that's just gonna literally take that look up like 10 different notches so this is just a piece that i don't really have to speak too much about i think all of you are purchasing these hats at this point we all just were obsessed this these hats got us all in choco so yep I look forward to see what else they're going to release because I love the fact that they have so many different styles in this hat. My um, straw hat that I have by Rosalind Baginski, my fave. I'm so happy I did not wait on Farfetch to see if they go on sale. If you're going to be purchasing these hats from Farfetch, girl, let me tell you something. The sizes, they run out. I do get these um, hats in a large. I wish I had an extra large because my hat, my wigs, like I say, I add hair to them. So these hats can be a little snug on me. Now, if you don't wear wigs, I guess you can just, or you have like a small head, get your regular hat size. But if you're a wig girl, get a large. If you can find an extra large, get an extra large girl because they're not that forgiving for the girls with wigs. Last on my list, I would pay full price for luxury, rare, vintage pieces on my archives wish list. When it comes to my archives wish list, honey, I don't play about that girl. Me and that girl have been tussling for years, okay? That wish list, I like keep her in the vault, okay? I don't really share her with too many people, especially y'all, because I know y'all gonna just go buy up half of everything on there and I'm, I'm never gonna get them. 
when it comes to my archives wish list when i see the things i'm buying them even if i have to pay a premium at this point girl i don't care like i said i literally just purchased three items off this mm, i'm not gonna say three i'm gonna say two i literally just purchased two items off this um wish list and when i saw the price i didn't even think twice because i was like you can sit here and think a little too long and if somebody come and buy this while i'm sitting here thinking i am gonna choke you girl so put this in your card you think while you're checking out you don't got that long think while you're checking out and that's pretty much what happened i just it was like a no-brainer once i saw my size in each item i don't have time to think we're buying them y'all don't understand i have been on the hunt my archive wish list i would say this wish list started when i was a kid the archive wish list is literally all of the things that i wanted when i used to watch sex in the city or i will go to the grocery store and uh, look at fashion people magazine and vogue teen vogue all of the things that i saw in those um magazines that i could not afford it's on that archive wish list and i'm just checking them off honey over here checking them off like i'm collecting infinity stones like we're getting them all okay it's just like y'all don't y'all don't understand archive pieces girl they do something to me and new york is a city that i feel like my people are there okay because when i'm in new york i can literally be walking up the street especially soho and i will see something and i'm like oh she have on the archive saint laurent shoes i want and New Yorkers are not that friendly for me to just walk up to y'all and start talking. But one thing I will do, I'm going to ask you where you got it from. It's kind of like my Saint Laurent Artie ring. Those rings, they're no longer in production. It's kind of like a vintage old Saint Laurent piece. Anytime I wear them, I get stopped and it just start like different conversations. And uh, I, just, I just love having fashion talk with the girls. So yeah, anything on my archives wish list, girl, I would definitely pay full price. I wouldn't even say full say full price i would literally pay a premium and however i do get excited when sellers accept my offer i cannot lie about it girl but i'm always willing to pay full price for those items because they just makes me so freaking happy i get more happy about archive pieces than like new fashion because archive pieces it just have like it just takes me back to the girl in the grocery store turning those pages and i'm like oh my god i'm obsessed so yeah all right girlfriends so that is all that i have on this list but like i said this list is constantly changing this list is subject to change like it's always changing okay so this may be something that even i can update items i would not pay full price for it's like this is something that i can constantly keep doing because it's always changing so what i want you guys to do is comment down below tell me what you will pay full price for or what what you have paid full price for because every time i make videos y'all be coming down in the uh, comment section telling me the things that y'all be buying and i be like oh Oh girl send me a picture <laughs> because just like y'all it's like it's like, this is sometimes like a one-way friendship because y'all get to see what i'm buying and what i want but sometimes y'all i'm just like y'all i'll be like oh what did you get girl like i want to know too so comment down below let me know what you'll pay for a price for and yeah that's all that i have for this video i will see you girls in the next video but y'all know what i'm about to say don't you click off this video without liking it that's just rude and disrespectful okay don't come over here and watch this video all along and stuff and have us like we just best friends and you just leave without saying goodbye and saying goodbye you have to at least like the video so i would greatly appreciate if you like the video before you go girl bye